Hello, I'm Susan Bida, co-founder of eCareDiary.com, and we're here at the Family Caregiving Summit, uh, sponsored by Emblem Health, here at the New York Academy of Medicine in New York City. And I have the distinct pleasure of uh, meeting some of the speakers and uh, participants of the conference, and I'm very pleased to introduce you all to Dr. Fritz Gallet. Uh, Dr. Fritz Gallet is a psychologist with an office in Times Square here in New York City, and he's the host host of a show called, an online radio show called The Ask Dr. Fritz Show. Dr. Fritz, thank you for joining us thank, today. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about your uh, radio show and uh, what's, you know, sort of how you help family caregivers in that, in that, uh, with your show. Well, first of all, I was a psychologist. I have lots of clients and many of the clients I'm working with um, obviously have families and a lot of them are stressed because they're dealing with aging parents. And what I've seen over the years is an increasing number of people who are the stressors that they're dealing with include having to take time off from work and impact their careers to go home and take care of family members who are um, in need. And uh, what kind of um, issues are you seeing amongst your patients? Are, are, are you seeing a lot of, um, I imagine, stress and depression? Does it manifest in physical conditions as well? Actually, many come to me because they're suffering from anxiety. And when you do a, a clinical evaluation of what's going on in their life, you find out that they're not getting enough sleep, that the life balance is not so great because they're constantly having to take care of somebody and not take care of their own needs. Um, what a uh, luxury to have you on our radio program because I know so many caregivers find it so difficult to get away because they have their caregiving duties and on top of the fact that they may be working. So um, what type of advice do you offer to caregivers to kind of manage it all and just uh, enable themselves to keep themselves he healthy. Well, fortunate for me in terms of that advice, I was able to meet Gregory Johnson at Emblem Health at one of the Emblem Health events. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the advice relates to connecting my clients and people who are in need with the resources that are offered here. Mm -hmm. um, in, in addition to helping them with meditation and, and dealing with anxiety, it's resources that a lot of family caregivers are in need of. Um, it's, we don't go to school and learn about what to do when a family member gets sick and, and what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to balance your life. So it's a great resource to be able to send people back to the literature and the um, organizations that are in this space. Great. Well, I'm so glad that we finally met. Uh, I've, I've been around for a while, and it's, uh, it's a surprise that I haven't met you before, but I'm glad mm -hmm. we met today. Mm -hmm. And I want to let our audience know that... Um, the Ask Dr. Fritz show can be found on askdrfritz.com, and it's A-S-K-D-R-F-R-I-T-Z.com. Uh, can you share with us um, maybe one of, uh, one of the, uh, I guess, guests you've had on your show mm -hmm. recently or, you know, an event? Oh, we've would... had everything. I mean, I'm a psychologist. I will talk to anybody, any walk of life. So I wanted the show to be about that, where I would talk to different people. So we've had people like Gregory Johnson from Emblem Health talk about family caregiving, down to Lou Ferrigno, who is the original Hulk, oh my who talked with us about um, the inspirational work that he's doing to motivate people and use his fame and, and his legacy to really motivate people to be healthy and physically fit. Fantastic. And uh, uh, for the family caregivers out there who are watching, uh, do you have any thoughts for today on um, how they can manage all the things that they're dealing with at once? Absolutely. Talk about it. Um, when your friends, your relatives, people are asking, is there anything they can do? Tell them. And if you don't know what they should be doing, tell them that. Say you need help. You don't not sure exactly what to do. But um, keeping it to yourself, a lot of people keep this to themselves. They make it a very private thing. And I encourage clients to actually talk about it. So when people come to me and they're dealing with this, of course, I get them talking about it in their meetings with me. But I also get them to also let friends and um, coworkers and people know what they're going through because a lot of other people are going through it. And you find out that as soon as you start talking about it, someone's gone through it already. My co one of my colleagues, another psychologist, had gone through a lot of this privately, and then when I started talking about it, he had extra equipment that his father had already passed on. Yeah. He gave me equipment. He gave me some of the learnings and know-hows sure. that he had picked up along the way, so that was a great resource to have. Yeah. And you bring up a very good point that um, sometimes the former caregivers can be some of the greatest advice givers um, to current caregivers out there. So, yes, um, 
talk about it. And uh, thank you so much, Dr. Fritz. It's thank been a pleasure getting to meet you. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you all.